It's Madden NFL 24, where we'll see a brawl inside the AFC East. It's the Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets, and it's coming up next. We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it will be the Miami Dolphins taking on the New York Jets. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I can give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. started and off we go from MetLife Stadium. This fielded right at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson. And we all know the scouting report on him. He can attack the field at all levels with a very strong arm and make big time plays off schedule. We also see a player with confidence and swagger. We see a guy who knows how to lead a team, who knows how to compete and wants to be great every time he hits the field. Here's Wilson to throw right away. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Just the first quarter of a tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and we're in all season about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. I ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it <laughs> would have been, been a, a different story. long night. Two yards to go, second down. On the handoff of Banacanda. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. That is caught, and he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball, and sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. We'll go down as a gain of six, and yeah, that's going to bring up second down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. 
Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Here's Wilson. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely, as one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. Well, they're not hiding who their central focus is on offense. Charles, he already now has four receptions here on this opening drive. And I know people who are watching the game are thinking, did they forget about him in the defensive game plan? But it's actually been the opposite. They're giving him a lot of attention, but he's been very creative and savvy in his route running and finding seams and openings in order to create these completions. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard game brings up a third down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively though to hold it to a short game third and two now Wilson and that is incomplete oh he did everything but hold on to it but a nice play defensively and now it brings up fourth down they really had a good drive going there but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense an unexpected fourth down here They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down by a couple of yards. He's going to get five there on fourth and three. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and ten inside the 30. Wilson's throw into the hands of Cobb. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Now the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. On second down, a run with Hall. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. On first down, right back to Hall. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second and six from the 10. Here's Wilson. And that is incomplete here. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. The Jets on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Now Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown! Alan Lazard from 10 yards out. And the Jets post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bit just to get the football. Zerline good with a PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. And what a drive that was. 
16 plays all told. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. the touchdown to kick. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. And his task in this situation is making sure that his team knows that there's a sense of urgency yet somehow still stays calm. Because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you gotta attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you gotta move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. First down, Miami. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Tua sets up to pass it. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's a second and five. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa completes it to the tight end, Smythe. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Tua setting up shop to throw again. And he's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Braxton Berrios. From 13 yards out. And the Dolphins are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. After nearly 30 minutes of football, that touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays, and it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Jets. 
special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And not much happening on the return as they'll get this to about the 23. And the Dolphins with one final possession here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. Got an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. Now throw out one going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's second and ten. Here's Tua. Got a man, it's Barrios complete. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Tua, a final shot before half. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. And it's caught on the deflection. And this is going to be a touchdown. And just before the half ends, the prayer is answered defensively a disaster there. I know often we're surprised when this actually works. I mean, the excitement level goes way up, but maybe we shouldn't be because I know as a defender, You've got to play the ball in this situation, but you can't interfere with the receiver because, remember, it's a spot foul, and it'd be first and goal if it happens in the end zone, and you don't want to give up that play, and that little bit of hesitancy often works really well for offensive guys. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. 
This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. They go back to the ground, this time Mostert. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and seven. Play action, now it's Tua. He'll take a shot for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Quick hands that time to knock that one away. Sure looked like a short touchdown, but he can get a good break on the football and force the incompletion. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Looking to pass to him. Throw to the right, take it in by Barrios. Yeah, boy, he had the marker square in his sights, but a good tackle is going to leave him about a yard or so short. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. The Dolphins will send out the punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Open man here is Conklin. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Here's Wilson to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Throwing is Wilson. This is Lazard with a catch out left. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 
He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. On first down, Wilson. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down. And they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. All square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. What a tough spot to miss a kick. Just an absolute letdown. Look, they got themselves in the field goal range. Gave them a chance to take the lead. They come up empty. And now you wonder, will their offense ever see the football again? Yeah, because on the other side, one through the post. And this thing could be over. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now a play fake. Here's Tiger by Lowe. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation. One that they have a much better chance of picking up. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Two are going to throw. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete, and he'll be brought down. It looks like right at the 40. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Tua, a run straight ahead with a champ. 
Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Here's Tua on first and ten. It's Mostert to about the 26 here. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center, because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. To his throw, complete there to Berrios. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Throwing Tua, a run with Mostert up the middle. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Well, the noise got to be an issue now offensively. Here's third and six. Now Tua on third down, H.A.M. Well, he won't quite make it. He needed six, he got about five. Fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This for the lead in the final stages. Sanders kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. On the return is Xavier Gibson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here's Wilson and the Jets down 17-14, 56 seconds to go. And they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Throwing now is Wilson. It's complete, Lazard. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Now second and four. Here's Wilson. Over the middle, complete. It's Wilson. Huge first down, got a hurry. Yeah, now they have to get up there, get set, and then spike it. Final minute, no timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. Now Wilson. And he's got his man on the out route. And he will get out of bounds 
to stop the clock as he picks up maybe eight, and that's all. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here pulled in by Lazaro. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Well, how about keeping your head about you in this situation? No more timeouts. Finds a way to get out of bounds. Now they can breathe a little bit as they contemplate what to do on the next down. They'll come up first and ten here. Wilson to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. But still need one completion for field goal range. And just think about what they're going over in the huddle right now. Make the catch, get out of bounds. That's going to be tough to do. So make the catch, get up to the line of scrimmage, and clock it to have one last shot. They'll come up now on second down. Back to throw. Pass complete. He's got Lazard on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. We've seen some big kicks in the NFL the last few years, and that one might just rank right up there. And you know you can hear the crowd react, right? But I was focused in on the sideline and watched them absolutely erupt. I don't know how many of them thought that he was actually going to make that kick, but how about how they felt when the ball went over the post? So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Running the counter with Mostert. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. And we've got free football. Four quarters done. And we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. So the Jets won the toss. They'll get the first shot at finding a winner as we are back underway here in overtime. On the return is Gibson. And he returns this to the 22. And New York set to take the field. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. 
give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Short gain there to start overtime. Almost a tester play, wasn't it? Wanted to see if the guys on defense were going to fit the gaps the correct way because we're in overtime. So it's not just physical tiredness out there, right? Mentally, are you still doing what you're supposed to do? And they're up to the task on that point. They're certainly fatigue on both sides of the football. Ten yards is the pickup good enough for a jet first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So from the 36 now, first and ten. On first and ten, it's Hall. Ooh, the juke. And shelling it off that open field. Hall has it knocked loose. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. Still going. Inside the ten. And he brings it back to the house. It's a touchdown. And in a crazy inning, a defensive score wins it. And that's a linebacker showing he can move pretty good with a football in his hand. That's not just a short shuttle now. He took it and went a pretty good distance, didn't he? Did you get the 40 time on that? <laughs> I didn't, but he got six points out of it. I know that, and a great play for that defensive unit. So it's a win for the Dolphins here, and it was a strong performance by Tua that helped lead the way. Yeah, the numbers don't jump off the page, but he was a steady influence back there. He had a couple of touchdown passes on the afternoon. His guys rallied around him, and they're going to come away victorious. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more.